Welcome back, troglodytes, to another Trogly's Guitars. Today we have a 1981 Gibson Les Paul Artist. Well, without the electronics in it. I always said if I had to choose one of the really cool Les Pauls made in the 70s and 80s, it would be an artist with the electronics taken out. Now, I've had quite a few of these artists that still had the Moog electronics in them, and to me, there were only a few sounds that I personally really liked. However, I will say this, if you were to master what all of those were and when to use them, it's a very versatile guitar. However, if you're a little bit impatient like myself, uh, <laughs> ripping it out's the easiest uh, way to convert this into a regular Les Paul Custom. What a lot of people will do is they'll take this guy out and route him a little larger so you can have your second tone knob. And that's an option that's open for you. Right now, this guy, uh, pickups have been replaced. Kaler was added back in 83. This one's in 81. So very early on its life, it got the Gibson branded Kaler. It did not come from the factory like that, though. Once again, that was added. Uh, you have 500 K pots now. You have two master, or not two masters, just two two volumes and a master tone here, which works great because you can still do that whole Les Paul uh, thing that Jimmy Page made popular, rolling down that, so you can have different types of uh, attacks just at the uh, flip of your toggle switch there. But this guitar is gorgeous. It truly is. Uh, besides the added Kaler. Uh, it's in good shape. So you can see here on the headstock, the headstock's in good shape. It's only aged a very little bit, but you can see there are some light scratches here from being restrung. Uh, the truss rod cover has been swapped out for one that says custom. It's not the traditional style uh, truss rod cover, but it does work, and honestly, I think it kind of has a cool little look to it. If you wanted to, you could probably just uh, black sharpie over that if you didn't like the whiteness. But I think it adds a really cool look to the guitar. So this is your locking nut. The Allen wrench that you need for tightening those down is in the guitar case. I'm not going to tighten those down now because I always loosen the strings before shipping. Brass nut came stock on the Les Paul Artist, so that is original. And the frets look like they've probably recently been uh, dressed and looking nice. So very little wear. I guess I can show you here. Very little, if any, wear. And it plays great. You have a very nice dark ebony fretboard on this one. And th this is a really classy looking guitar. The way it's aged is very lightly, so it's all nice cream color. It has that tuxedo look to it. Pickups are 57 Classic in the neck, 57 Classic Plus in the bridge, and I think this one's a 2012 and this one's a 2011, so that was fairly recent that somebody uh, ripped the electronics out of this guy and put in new pickups. And it honestly plays great. There's a lot of skepticism online on the guitar forums that once you put a Kaler in a guitar, it ruins the tone, but I, I really didn't feel that that happened to this guitar. It sounds and plays just like a regular Les Paul Custom. But back to why I said I would always choose one of these over any other Custom, is they got this comfort cutaway here on the back. It's such a small thing there, but it makes it so much more comfortable to play. And it's the only Les Paul back in the day that uh, had that. Okay, your knobs have been replaced. Likely because these guys originally came with knobs that went from 0 to 5. So and now that it's a regular knob, you gotta, you know, have a knob that goes to 10. So these guys are not connected. Half of the original Moog electronics are still in here. They only weigh a couple ounces, so you might as well just leave them in there. I, I believe there was a second half over these guys, and that part's missing, but you still have that. So I just left those alone there for you. 
And as you can see, there are some dings and scratches on the top. Then over here, uh, there's some deeper scratches. They almost look like finished checkings, but it, it this looks like a very deep scratch. And lots of light play wear. There's a lot of gold on that top, and I like that. And now to the back of the guitar here. This one was marked a factory second. And it is made in 1981. You have your stock tuners, Gibson branded trollers. And you have the thin profile 60s neck. Nothing too major going on here, except for you do have a little bit of finish worn away. Mm, if you're really picky and if your playing style does that, I mean, you, you can feel that, but I, I can't imagine that giving you any troubles. And you do have a few light indentations there, but nothing too bad. Now, the back does have a case of uh, buckle wear. Under black light, it almost looks like... Uh, Somebody took a paint marker here and touched that up, and then they wore it away again, <laughs> which I find funny. So there was a very light touch up on that wood. You can kind of see that outline there of where that was lightly uh, colored and then worn away again. Once again, you got the comfort cutaway, and then you do have a little bit of wear there as well. And then you have all that room, so if you wanted to like make this uh, super modified guitar, you have tons of room to do that with. And since you have three mini toggles, I mean, you could use this as a project and make it your own cool little Les Paul custom. There's quite a few dings along the sides as well. You do have the original uh, strap buttons on it yet. They're kind of cool because they're the diamond shape. So just some light wear around the edges. But overall, this is a really cool Les Paul Custom. And you got the cool headstock on there. I always like the LP script logo on this headstock. So out of all the guitars that they made in the New Orleans era, the artist was pretty cool though a little bit ahead of its time. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you're interested in the guitar or have any questions for me, feel free to contact me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash troglies, T-R-O-G-O-I-S. This guitar does come with its original hard shell case. As you can see here, it has the uh, brown interior. It has some light scuffs on the Gibson logo. But overall, perfectly functional. And that's a great guitar. Thank you for checking it out, Troglodytes. I'll catch you next time.